my pleasure to serve today as the Master of Ceremonies as we unveil this historical marker. And it will be my honor to introduce some distinguished guests who have traveled great distances to be with us as we mark this historic occasion. Before we begin, allow me to say a few words about the Borough of Heidelberg and her many contributions to the history of the Commonwealth we all love. To paraphrase President Abraham Lincoln, five score and nine years ago, Heidelberg became a borough. In these 109 years, Heidelberg has contributed, contributed mightily to the social, spiritual, and economic vibrancy of our state and our nation. During the Great War, World War I, five brave Heidelbergians were killed in action, giving their full measure of devotion on battlefields in France and in Germany. On four separate occasions, gifted athletes from Heidelberg won national soccer championships. Members of the Heidelberg Golden Tornado soccer team in 1927, 1929, 1934, and 1955 won the U.S. National Amateur Challenge Cup, causing the Pittsburgh Sun Telegraph newspaper to declare, he to declare Heidelberg the soccer capital of the United States. In 1973, a young man from Heidelberg graduated class valedictorian from the Chartiers Valley High School. In and amongst these outstanding civic, cultural, and intellectual contributions, Day after day, year in and year out, Otterberg has quietly worked to maintain herself as a pleasant, safe, and interesting place to live, work, and raise a family. Significant to our gathering here today is a singular monumental enterprise that existed in Heidelberg from 1948 until 1973, the Heidelberg Raceway and Sports Arena. Over multiple generations, fathers brought sons and grandparents brought grandchildren to marvel and admire all manner of event held at the raceway, guaranteed to amaze and entertain. The distinguished speakers here today shall outline much of what occurred during these 25 years that acted to spellbound the Heidelbergundians. In closing, perhaps the two best words you'll ever hear a politician say, let me again paraphrase President Lincoln. We who gather here today will little note or long remember what was said here. But we who visited the Heidelberg Wage Day will never forget what was done there. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of uh, Governor Tom Corbett, uh, who couldn't be here today, I bring you greetings. Uh, Senator Fontana, Representative Kodak, uh, Mayor Lasota, and our elected officials, uh, Heidelbergundians, and race fans. And there are a lot of race fans here today. You know, a lot of history was made right on this ground where we're standing today, and the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission's job is to commemorate places of national, regional, and statewide significance. And this is one of those places a lot of history happened here. And whether you're here remembering the great NASCAR races that took place here, or other races, or if you were here in 1956 when Ringling Brothers staged their last show under the big top, you are remembering history. And that's what we're going to commemorate here today. My day job is as the president of the Senator John Hines History Center in Pittsburgh. And I hope uh, many of you have been there and seen our racing section and 20,000 square feet we've dedicated to regional sports history. If you haven't, please come this summer when you have a chance. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to let some other people tell you a little bit more history and then we're going to unveil that plaque that's going to be here for another 100 years, uh, remembering the history that was made on this site. I want to start out by thanking uh, Joe Cower, the Heidelberg Borough Manager, who came up with this idea and, and helped formulate all this and help put all this together. 
Uh, I got involved a little bit after he actually put the idea together and got the racing community involved. I want to thank the uh, the gentleman who brought the race cars, Lynn Geisler, who brought the Billy Webster race car, Jim Woodsberger, who is the nephew of a uh, longtime race promoter here, Ed Woodsberger, who brought the sprint car. Uh, the black number 14 NASCAR late model, Bob Bentz uh, Jr. and Bob Bentz Sr. Bob Bentz Sr. was a longtime crew member. I also want to thank um, the businesses that donated money uh, to, to help build this marker. Walton Wynn Ford, Steinberger Flooring, L. Thomas Body Shop and Towing, the Walmart Foundation, the Pittsburgh Circle Track Club, Racers for Tots, Lowe's Home Improvement Center, Pittsburgh's Pennsylvania Motor Speedway, and a donation was made in the memory of Mr. John McCarthy. The Motley family, um, I don't know that anybody is here today who actually owns the Pittsburgh's Pennsylvania Motor Speedway. If you're out there any Saturday night, you can see actually see the remnants of Heidelberg Raceway, the grandstands, the guardrails, and all the, some of the other structure at uh, the Pennsylvania yeah, Motor Speedway right came from the racetrack that was here at the Heidelberg Raceway. Yeah. I want to thank General Manager Don Lynch at the King's Restaurant for allowing us to basically take over the parking spaces uh, at the King's. So after this is over, I know everybody's going to be hungry. Go in there and do what you can to help him out for allowing us to park our race cars and clog up his parking area because they were very, very gracious to do that. I want to thank Don Gamble from Speedway Productions. He was very involved in this as well. Gave me a lot of encouragement. Got a lot of these racing people out here, um, and I really appreciate all of his help. He also has Viewpoint Productions here, who is videotaping uh, the, the dedication, and we'll have that available uh, at a later date. I moved right in. I see that. <laughs> I also want to thank the folks from the Pittsburgh Post, uh, Post Gazette, uh, the area auto racing news, and the reporters um, who reported uh, and, and brought us the information on this get together. I want to thank the uh, Twin States Auto Racing Club uh, in Ohio and their uh, folks who are here today. Um, the Pittsburgh Circle Track Club was put together. Uh, right after the Heidelberg Raceway closed, and it was put together to keep the, the memory of Heidelberg Raceway and the racing uh, at, at the Heidelberg Raceway going through the years. It started about uh, two or three years prior to the Raceway closing, and it continues today. Every year in November, we hold a large gathering of our racing uh, old-timers and our retired race car drivers here in Heidelberg at the Heidelberg Fire Hall. That's usually the second weekend in November. If you're in the area, stop by. We'd love to have you. The Heidelberg, uh, Heidelberg Raceway and Sports Arena opened in 1948, originally constructed for horse racing uh, by Dave Wright. I guess really the state of Pennsylvania did one thing right that year. They didn't give them horse racing. They brought a stock car racing. And thank you for the state of to the state of Pennsylvania for doing that. The memories of Heidelberg Raceway, that Heidelberg Raceway evokes over time, the visions of thousands and thousands of people, race fans, car owners, drivers, crew members who came from all over the United States and Canada to be a part of racing here at the Heidelberg Raceway. The track sanctioning organizations like the Pittsburgh Racing Association, the PRA, the HRA, the Heidelberg Racing Association, NASCAR, USAC, and the list goes on. The announcers over the day, Zane Canals, my uncle Art Daly, Bill Steinbach, both of whom were K KDKA radio broadcasters in their days. People who worked at the racetrack in one form or, form or another who were here today, Gil Iorio, who was a race official, Walt Feldy, who was a turn four corner man, who made sure all the cars were lined up and ready to go when they started down the front straightaway to the flagman. Flagmen like diminutive, diminutive Toy Graf, Fred Rush, Ron Starner, and race officials like Whitey Hollywood, Whitey Lauterbaugh, Marty Ritter, Art Smiley, and more. Other familiar faces who played important roles on race nights were men like Joe LaRue, who sold racing papers and gave me an opportunity to sell them in the grandstands. Ed Miyaka, who parked, who parked cars in the parking lot. Bud Chrysler, who provided the ambulance. Burke Gallarducci and the Haddads who brought their tow trucks when things didn't go all so well for race nights for the racers. Russell Llewellyn, Walt and Gene Stasiak who photographed the races here at Heidelberg Raceway and their Stasiak son John who's an absolute walking encyclopedia 
of Heidelberg Raceway history and carries on the raceway history for all of us to enjoy. One gentleman that I want to mention, he won so many races over the years, some 500, that they made a bronze plaque that will be erected in front of his business on Route 19 in Wexford, PA, uh, at a later date. His name was Herb Scott. Herb's son, Deke, is here, and we appreciate him coming. Herb was an 11 time champion at the Heidelberg Raceway. He was also, and a lot of people don't realize this, a three-time Dapper Dan Award winner in Pennsylvania. Some of the other drivers here today, championship driver, multi-time race winner, NASCAR competitor, Joe, and good guy, Joe Mihaly. Joe actually flew from the state of Florida just for this ceremony, and he's sitting here behind me, and I do appreciate him, him being here. You know, one night Joe won a race, a big, I think it was a 150 lap race, on three wheels. Try that today. Joe was one of a few drivers that were good on both dirt and asphalt. Hall of Fame driver Dick Bailey, who raced at Heidelberg, also raced at Daytona Speedway's Beach Course and the Daytona Super Speedway. The car that he ran on the Super Speedway has been reconditioned, is sitting right over here, the gray or silver number 11 that Gary and Mark Mariani redid. That was an actual race car that raced here, raced at Daytona, and Dick Bailey was a driver. Race car driver turned race promoter and one of the best in the business, Tom Colella, unfortunately couldn't be here, but he won many races all the way into Canada and championships. In 1973, he won the NASCAR Grand National East race here, beating NASCAR legends Tiny Lund, Bobby Allison, Kale Yarborough, and Buddy Baker. More names that I hope conjure up memories include Dickie Thomas, Bunny Maycar, Augie and Bob Sandman, Bob Waring, Dick Schwartzlander, Gus and Dick Linder, Don Dale, Glade Niels, Lee Smokey Stover, Art Rivesti, Don Luffy, who always had time for a little kid to say hi and shake his hand and talk racing. Buddy O'Connor, Johnny Orban, Lou Blaney, Miles Witchy, Smokey Shemp, Joe and Lou Viglione who are here, Bill Roush, Peanut Houston. Some of the others that are here, Bill McCracken, Chuck George, Don Divert, Storm and Norman Benning, Earl Detweiler, Bobby Dietrich, Mike Bodner, Alex Hager, Solomon James. And you know, I guess really a lot of people think that, and I, 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 don't, I don't want to turn this racial, but they think this is a white man's sport. Solomon James and Alex Hager put their heart and soul into racing at this track, and they were both African American drivers. And we want to recognize those two gentlemen. Other drivers like Jim Bickerstaff, Bill Conzos, Bob James, Tony Diano, Kenny Hemphill, Tony DeLillo, Junior Redden, Glenn Galt, Don Gregory, Ed Howell, Tom Mayer, Bob Seneker, and the list goes on. Blackie Watt, who's with us here today. The promoters of the day, Hank Miller and Ed Witzberger and Tommy Kalala. Car owners like Frank Perpetua, Chuck George, Bob May, and Mike Pirro. The Heidelberg and Pittsburgh Racing Association hosted four NASCAR races here, including the seventh ever event in the first season of the NASCAR Strictly Stock Series. Lee Petty, the father of Richard Petty, won. The, was, who was the, Richard Petty, who was the winningest driver, his father Lee won his first NASCAR race here at Heidelberg Raceway. Sarah Christensen finished fifth in that same 1948 event, and to this day is the highest finishing female driver and NASCAR racing. That's quite an accomplishment. At the track's final NASCAR race in 1960, Lee Petty won with his son Richard Petty set finishing second. There would be no other father and son one to finish until Bobby Allison beat Davey Allison at the 1988 Daytona 500, and since then it's never happened again. So many great stories and so much history to tell about the Heidelberg Raceway, but make no mistake about it, from the opening race on June 27, 1948, in winner Wally Stokes, until the final race in October 1973, the Pittsburgh 250, and winner Ed Howe, the men and women who race at this track, work at this track, and the fans who pay their hard-earned money to attend races, Heidelberg Raceway and its racing was and always will be the main focus of Heidelberg Raceway. Thank you. It's nice to see so many people who 
share an uh, awareness of that history here of, of Heidelberg. There'll be a lot of other things happening in Heidelberg in the next uh, few months, and Scott will have other ceremonies for that for the future. But I hope for those who are young here, uh, think of this as that this is the generation who could still work on their cars, who still knew what was under the hood and could do things like that. But, you know, when it's raining like this, I want to remember a couple of things. One, when the circus came to town, it worked real fast. It put the tents up, did the show, took them down real fast. The race car drivers went around real fast. And I think when it's raining, these speeches should be fast, too. Thanks so much. Congratulations. Henry, huh? A lot of good memories here. I'm pleased to be invited, not just because I represent uh, Heidelberg in the State Senate, but also because I truly believe you shouldn't forget where you came from. And Heidelberg uh, doing a ceremony like this certainly isn't forgetting where they came from and reminding everybody of the legend and the legacy that Heidelberg, Heidelberg has. I was a city boy. I grew up uh, in the Bichu section of the city, but we used to venture across when I was young to to watch the races and the uh, demolition derby, and I can remember all that when I was was young and in, uh, in high school, and uh, it was quite a thrill actually to come from the city over to Heidelberg uh, to watch that. So it's all good memories, and certainly uh, you know for Andy to be here, it's exciting that uh, this certainly has the credentials to to be a marked uh, area and, and and to be remembered uh, forever. And exactly that's exactly what's happening today. Uh, what we're doing is uh, we're marking. Heidelberg and its legacy in history for everyone not to ever forget and always to remember what, what good things happened here and what good, good memories uh, were made here. So thank you everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be in Heidelberg. The people of this community have always treated me well and I'm very proud to represent them in Harrisburg. This is a great celebration for all of us. And today I want to make that a day of celebration so that we can all commemorate the great history of our region and of Pennsylvania and the great people of this region that have worked so hard to make these things happen and give us such a rich history. So as Joel Hanrahan would say, I'm the closer and that's it. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd uh, just like to say it's always great to remember what happened in Heidelberg, uh, the raceway, Barnum and Bailey Circus. I remember uh, when I was young in the early 50s, uh, the train used to pull into Glendale. And they used to take the elephants off and the whole circus, and it would travel by brothers down 50 here, and they'd set up the tents here. And if you had time, you could work there carrying water or cleaning up and get a free ticket to the circus. It was a great time, it was a great experience. I also remember uh, sitting up and I went with a girl that lived in Heidelberg at the time, Jackie, who lived up top of this hill. We used to sit up there and watch the races at night. It was always a pleasure up there, looking at the track and uh, always a great time. Uh, I hope this, <laughs> I hope, uh, I hope this brings back many memories to you of all the racers that uh, Mr. Kohler talked about, I didn't realize, oh, we had that many famous racers, and we have one right here with us, right here, Joe, who's extremely famous, and uh, i just like to say that I appreciate uh, Heidelberg taking the time to put this Story Bowl plaque up, and I hope everybody appreciates it, and it brings back great memories to you, it does to me. Thank you. And around where we are standing right now, there were also lots of other small businesses that populated this part of Heidelberg, one of which was Josie's Truck Stop. We're honored today to have with us Miss Mary Lou Kainz, who used to work as a waitress there. Boy, 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 boy. Yeah. This make me happy. You have no idea the memories I have. I uh, lived on Walnut Street Extension here in 1933 when it was a Red Dog Road. I have lived in about four different places in Heidelberg and I always thought of Heidelberg as my home. And uh, when the Big Top came to town, I was thrilled because I was able to, as Mike Finnerty said, they took the elephants and things right in front of our house where I lived at that time. And it was a, an eye popper to see <laughs> all of these people uh, marching down our street. It was really fantastic. So they opened, um, they were a traveling city under the tent. And well, coming out, as you said, my name is Steve Whitlock. I'm a national advisor with the official NASCAR Members Club. Uh, that is the licensed fan division of NASCAR. I also serve as the 
president of the Western Pennsylvania chapter of that organization. Frequently when I'm talking to people about NASCAR, they talk about, uh, well, you guys, guys that go in circles and make left turns. Yep, that's what we do. And we must be pretty good at it because we're the number one spectator sport in the country. I get a lot of uh, responses that, well, you know, this ain't the South. Well, 60% of the NASCAR fans, by the way, there's 75 million of us, live above the Mason-Dixon line. That's you folks. Pennsylvania has one of the highest NASCAR populations in the country. There are 59 racetracks in the state of Pennsylvania. So that includes uh, the circle tracks, the um, dirt tracks, the all of the tracks encompassing. NASCAR is a much a part of American culture. Heidelberg Raceway helped to develop and sustain that culture. This marker that we unveil today will serve as a reminder that NASCAR is as much as Western Pennsylvania as the Steelers, the Pins, and the Pirates. So to everyone who's been a part of Heidelberg Raceway, who has worked here, raced here, or have come out to watch a race here, I thank you and salute you on behalf of NASCAR and its 75 million fans. First, I'd like to thank the Heidelberg Volunteer Fire Department. It is the tent that you see in front of you that, that they um, were gracious enough to put up so we had a nice place to keep, keep out of today's rain. So I'd like to thank the Heidelberg Volunteer Fire Department. Working side by side with the Volunteer the Fire Department today has been the Heidelberg Police Department, making sure we're safe and sound here next to Route, Route 50 here, which 17,500 cars a day travel this road here. So. The HPD does a wonderful job keeping us safe. <laughs> Following the dedication, and um, there will be refreshments in the tents behind us, I'd like to thank the Hatterberg Recreation Committee and all their volunteers for providing all the food and refreshments that we're going to have today as well. <laughs> I'd also like to thank Debbie, Debbie Gates, young lady here who's been doing our sign interpretation for all of us here today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Many of you may have noticed that the, the, the um, marker that we're going to unveil sits on a nice landscape uh, bed here. It's this Lowe's the, the store over here in the Heidelberg Scott Township area that donated the time and money to put that in. They put it in about eight months ago in preparation for this unveiling. So I'd like to thank Lowe's and there's a representative of Lowe's right over here. As many of us know, the, the Heidelberg Raceway and Sports Arena straddled both Heidelberg and Scott Township. So part of the land that the racetrack was on was in Scott Township and part of it was also in Heidelberg. I, I happen to think personally that the best half was in Heidelberg. <laughs> but we have some dignitaries from Scott Township with us today. We have um, two, uh, we have one of their uh, commissioners, Eileen Myers. We also have Pat, Pat Caruso, Caruso, and we also have their, their um, borough manager, Denise Fitzgerald. Also, following the ceremony, Mr. Don Gamble has requested that all of former race aficionados, people who have an interest in the racetrack, would gather around him for some formal photographs taken. So before this is all over, if you want to run into Mr. Don Gamble, he would like to do some photographing of everyone that is here. Now, the plaque is now going to be unveiled. It's going to be unveiled by the Hatterberg Borough Council. And after the plaque is unveiled, I'd invite the platform party to gather around for some photographs in front of the plaque after it's unveiled. And then when that's done, I would encourage everyone to have fellowship and also have your pictures taken as well. So members of Hatterberg Council. Short guys in the front? Yeah, short guys in the front. 
Okay. You want the young guys in the front and the older guys in the back. Hey, you in the back. <laughs> you wanted to be up. Uh, guys on the end, squeeze in a little bit. Oh, geez, that's asking a lot for saying, man. Everybody had a shot. All right. Let's cast some water. Augie, where you at? Come over on the end here. Can't see you. Right there. All right, guys, we ready? The gentleman right here in the back chewing the gum. I want to see your face. That's Fireball. Fireball. Come on, Fireball. Fireball's hiding. Someone might be out there. All right, guys, right here. Right here. Right here. I can't see. Who's got to be? 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 Yeah. Uh, the interior of that, that fight is ours. I'm on board. 